want to show you one kind of cool thing here, uh, and that is what you probably expect would happen yeah. eventually. Talon running on my iPad. Now, here's the cool thing about that. See, when you go on an airplane, uh, or in a lot of trips, um, you don't, like in a car, you don't really have room for the gigantic um, uh, computer. And you could put a text editor on, and, and there are a lot of text editors on the iPad, but it's really not a good interface for doing text editing. But it's a great interface for looking at code and for looking at something visual and, and understanding it. And so, uh, Talon will run natively on an iPad. And this means you can take your stuff with you and look at it in places that normally you, you know, might be bored and have some time to yourself and trying to figure out how something works. And I know this isn't very interesting for non-programmers, but for programmers, man, there is nothing in the world worse than having to be like on an airplane and just having to try to remember how something works so you can think about it, so you can, you know, try to walk through some kind of solution to it. Uh, when your laptop doesn't actually fit on your lap in front of the, uh, in, in, in front of you because there's no room. So having this on an iPad, that kind of changes everything. So again, um, Talon is going to be simultaneously released on the web, iOS, and Android. Now here's what that actually also means. That is, you'll be able to pull up your code on your phone. And the reason this is a big deal is I spent a lot of my time, at least this is a big deal for me, I spent a lot of my time in places where I do not at all have room for a computer or an iPad. But I can certainly bring up my phone and it will just be amazing to be able to look through source code and try to figure out problems that I'm having um, right there on the phone. And now I can. So that's the huge benefit of having this simultaneous launch on the web and on the phone and having it all sync over the web. So as you upload, if you upload a um, one of your source code files to the Microscope server. You can uh, then view it on all of your iOS and Android devices and on the web, anywhere you have access to uh, the website or, or the app. And that's it. So it's gonna be out pretty soon and I will let everyone know exactly when and where as soon as it is ready.